everyone. Thanks for stopping by to see the June garden tour. We're almost at the end of June. It's hard to believe. I thought it was June 1st. You'll notice if you've seen our garden tours before, the house looks a little bit different and we don't usually show you this angle. So I'm excited for you to see the new front part. You used to have some old nasty evergreens in there that got dug out last year and now it has incredible hydrangeas and, and a trough with the, one of those round topiary bushes in it and lots of flowers. I found these chickens at a flea market this spring and I just love them. There's dahlias in the back that hopefully will make their way out of there. There's ornamental kale, coleus, rock and blue suede shoes, salvia, that licorice vine, pansies, and super tunas. Chelsea's new favorite thing is that ornamental oregano hanging out the side of that pot. I had so many pansies left over from the spring and I couldn't see just letting them go. So they all made their way into the pots and I think as long as I keep them deadheaded, they'll be okay. So where is the new color? It's the same color as my kitchen walls. Lots of super tunias, alyssum, more salvia, hydrangeas up there in a pot. And I even drilled the holes for those myself. <laughs> I finally learned how to use a, a drill. Hunter had to give me directions over the phone while he was fishing. But the house has a German schmear on it. The house has a German schmear on it. And it just makes you want a bagel. <laughs> We've had a really dry year so far. And the grass is kind of crunchy. But the hydrangeas are going to start blooming. My new favorite zinnias are those little ones. They're profusion zinnias. So the little mailbox garden got put on there yesterday. It's been sitting in my garage for probably five years. I'm so excited to have it. I have a lot of weeds in this garden. I've been trying to get them out. They're those grass that just break off when you <laughs> pull them. But there's zinnias and those Monrovia sunflowers. We get a lot of questions about the perennials that are in her garden as far as the season long ones. And what you're seeing is the nepeta that she really enjoys. Favorite, and you can tell that the bees enjoy it. So you'll yes. get this first flush and then you can cut this purple off and you'll get another yeah. one. And it's hard to get the, you can see the long grass in there, but it's hard to stick your hand in there because there's like 9 million bees and I'm allergic to bees. But there's also, Russian sage yeah. behind there, so. Also in here is the Russian sage. Is so that that'll green? grow up taller and lavender too. I have a bunch of bobo hydrangeas in the front. There's three of them right there. That, what is that? So bobos here? are this, this. And the one behind it, the big tall one. So they stay more compact. Mm -hmm. Look at the, the that, um, I forget what it's called. Imperial blue of Romina. It's beautiful. It's like electric blue. And it goes so well with that salvia and then those little yellow, what are those little daisy things called? 
You're not sure? Mm -hmm. And that's that new Midnight Super Junior. I got this wash tub at the flea market this spring too, and I love it. It's like the legs were cut off on it, so it's really short. The little kids shopping cart full of pansies. They look like they need a little turning back, but I'll do it. That's another Bobo hydrangea. And then the Incredibles are all the, the big ones. And the really big hydrangea back there is the vanilla strawberry. So vanilla strawberry is right there. What's next? That's a limelight tree. And there's, I counted the other day, and there's over 60 hydrangeas in the yard. So, and those two flanking the gate are limelights. This basket is doing so well. The verbena is just unbelievable. And right behind that is a little lime hydrangea. In this vintage wheelbarrow, there's a huge showing of verbenas and the little calibracoas and the center grass is that new queen tut from Proven Winners. I really like it. There's geraniums in there too, but so far they aren't doing very much. But that could be because I only fertilized one so far. <laughs> I've been busy. found this John Deere cedar at uh, Antique Mall and I put a pot of zinnias in it. This spring I had some landscapers edge out my beds. They need to be trimmed right now with a weed eater. I just did it the other day, but apparently that's the only place it's growing because I water. But anyway, they made my my bed a lot bigger, so I have room for a lot more pots. And I've put a lot more in there. I uh, just got that hook yesterday, and when I brought it home, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so tall, but it looks really good there. You can see the black lace elderberry over the fence. There's another hydrangea that needs to be put in the ground. Those are those new Midnight Supertunias, and that's also the Priscilla Supertunia. There's ornamental cabbage in there. Chelsea grew those from seed for me. The place where I normally get them didn't have any this year. All they had was ornamental kale, so I have a lot of ornamental kale in my My trellises are a lot higher now, but there's nothing growing up that high yet because the beds are so much higher, but they're the same size trellises. I have some snapdragons and millet in those bins, and that's three vanilla strawberry hydrangeas. And then that one is a pinky winky, along with many weeds. vegetable garden is taking on a, a new look. <laughs> There's five 12 foot galvanized and wood beds that are, how tall are they? Like three feet tall? That are three feet tall. They were a beast to fill. Chelsea's husband, Matt, built them, and they're very nice. They're a beast to fill, though. <laughs> I planted rows of little zinnias and marigolds in the front, and then all the vegetables in the back.
was really hot today, so everything's kind of wilty. We're supposed to be getting a lot of hot weather in the next couple of days, I guess. I still have to get my mulch and put it in between them and still have to get rid of a lot of weeds. But it is nice that the garden beds don't need any weeding. Everything's a little bit smaller than last year at this time because I didn't get my things planted until I think the last week of May. That's a special kind of spinach right there that climbs. We've never tried that before, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And I actually have green beans growing and I have beets growing. So that's a first in probably five years. Those are more of those profusion zinnias. And in all the big troughs I've planted, dahlias in the back that they there's greenery coming up but there you see how the sweet pea blooming those are black raspberries behind there my son built me these beds and i'm not sure whether i'm going to paint them or stain them but they're also really high and the, the ones that were there before were like three by three and inside those big trellises so this is so nice that I have all that planting room and it's mostly flowers in there I do have like squash and cucumbers that will climb the trellises but mostly it's squash Chelsea got her hair done yesterday so she's a little beauty queen Still, I'm gonna plant zinnias in front of that trough. I just have to, I have bags of dirt that I need to put down and get it all turned over and get rid of the weeds. The raspberries have tons of weeds. The wheelbarrow, the blue pansies are from last year. They reseeded themselves. So it's nice, it's really full from mother nature. There's all kinds of plants in there and I think it's so pretty. These baskets hang over the raspberries. This is a climbing rose that Chelsea got me for her Mother's Day and I'm hoping it'll climb this arbor. So it's the pink rose. It's the same one that Laura from Garden Answer has in her vegetable garden. What's that purple basil called? African. African. Blue, African blue. The wash stand came from the flea market last year and there's my black lace elderberry and it looks so good. Especially with the house being white now, it, it just shows up and everybody's always like, what is that? There's more of the nepeta back here, and then an old garbage can filled with flowers. I planted seeds and I planted plants, so. There's dahlias in the back of that trough too. Ornamental cabbage. That ornamental oregano.
another one of those lawn spreaders. We found this one at a garage sale. More incredible hydrangeas. And now my favorite spot in the garden, the, the sidewalk. I just love this area. There's another wash tub there. And I have a canna lily up there that Chelsea hates that it looked so pretty the other day, but now all the petals are gone. <laughs> we have a lot of hydrangeas and pots of flowers and more of that nepeta and a dog. I think next month all these hydrangeas will have blooms on them. The watering cans with super tunias in them. I have zinnias planted in here that aren't blooming yet. Lots of different pots of flowers. Anything flea markety. And then those hollyhocks and the tiered tray. So I have two green stalks back here. This one I just planted, I think two weeks ago, and it is really filling out, but compared to the other one, there's not much. And that alyssum was just those little packs of alyssum. In fact, we got it really cheap at a nursery that was done for the season. It's not the proven winner's kind that gets really big, so we'll have to see how it does. That's the back of an old chair that I use for a trellis. I have black-eyed Susan vine in there. And again, there's dahlias in there. That ornamental oregano, that licorice vine, persimmon, super tunia. The rock and blue suede shoes. And there's the green stock that was planted probably a month ago. I have herbs on the table in metal containers. And my whole edge of the patio, there's a garden bed there. I need to scrape off the paint but there's zinnias in there, dahlias, and ornamental kale, some sunflowers. So I can't wait until that all, I just planted it a week ago. I've been kind of slow getting my things done. The hollyhocks have returned now. This is, I think their third year. And I planted them in a couple of different parts of my garden, out by the mailbox, and then on the other side of the fence here. Lots of incredible hydrangeas, super tunias and verbena, a limelight hydrangea tree, perennial mums, coneflowers, sunflowers, and those hollyhocks are planted back there behind that pot of flowers.
thank you so much for taking the garden tour. I got a lot of work to do getting these weeds out of here, but hopefully I'll have it done by the next time you guys come by. Thank you. Bye.